Alright, hello everybody, welcome back to my channel, this is Green Fish Tour with the two V's, and I'm finally back with another reading for you guys. I took a little break, um, just because I feel like messages get really misconstrued during um, the Mercury retrograde, which was the last three weeks. So I took a little break and, you know, regather my energy, and I'm back feeling so great about this reading, so excited. We have a lot of new cards, a lot of new stones, and uh, let's just get into this you guys are here for the reading the question why were they in your life <laughs> now this is, could be a person who you know they could be an ex-lover they could be an ex-friend they could be you know just somebody that maybe passed on and you're wondering why were they in your life um or maybe they were just in your life for a brief time and you're wondering why the heck did i even meet this person why did they cross my path um so I tried, decided to do a reading to see, you know, maybe get some insight as to why this person came into your life. Um, so I'm very excited to announce that I have two new decks that I'm using for this reading. Um, I'll go ahead and introduce the one of my uh, um, decks that I already have had for a while. And this is the Starseed Oracle. We're using this one. Nice little trusty deck. But this one... This one's brand new, and this one is the Daily Crystal Inspiration. I actually saw this on an Instagram ad, um, just scrolling through one day, and I've been looking for like a good crystal oracle deck, and this one popped up, and I'm like, yes, we're gonna get this. And I actually forgot that I got it, and it came in the mail, and I'm like, oh, yes, it's right. All right, let's do this. So I've been so excited, waiting to use this deck, and it's by Heather, Askinosi? Askinosi? Um, so yeah, I definitely recommend. I am excited to use it. And yeah. <laughs> and then the last but not least, the tarot deck that I'm using. I've been looking for a very good crystal deck, crystal tarot deck. And I found a crystal tarot deck just wandering around at, around at Barnes and Nobles one day. And this one, I am, I'm absolutely in love with it because each tarot card has a crystal on it. As you can see right here, the High Priestess has one and then this homeboy with the sun has one. And each card has like a little description in the, the guidebook, has a little description about each card and each stone and why they chose each stone to go on it. So I am very excited to use this deck as well. And of course, even more reason to be excited we have new stones that we're going to be using to represent each group. So group number one is actually going to be represented by this blue calcite. I got it from my local metaphysical shop. Um, whew, sorry, my local is medical physical, meta, metaphysical shop, intrinsic elements. Sorry, I'm very excited. So I'm just like, wow. But yes, I got this from Intrinsic Elements. I absolutely love it, totally was drawn to it. Like this time when I went to the crystal shop, it had been a couple of months and I was really drawn to these certain crystals. Like this one, the Kama Baba stone. It's also known as the Crocodile Stone. I really was drawn to this one. It was really, not really in my price range of what I was looking for, but you know, when you're drawn to a stone, you're drawn to it for a reason and this stone is just gorgeous and I am very happy with it and so decided to use it to represent group two. And then group three. Believe it or not, I did not have any hematite in my collection. So we have some hematite here representing group three. All right. So I want you guys to go ahead and start thinking about the person that you are wondering about why they were in your life. Um, you can go ahead and maybe take a deep breath, close your eyes, and really just get them in your thoughts. And whichever group you are most drawn to, I want you to pick that group. Be group one, pile one with the blue calcite. Group two, pile two with the kamabala. Or group three, Pile three with the hematite. Whichever one you feel most want, drawn to, I want you to pick it. And I will have timestamps in the description as well as the comments below pinned so you don't have to watch through all the other readings or you can watch through all the other readings or all of the readings. It, it doesn't matter. 
As long as you get the messages that you feel suit you the best, that's what matters. And if you feel like you're not connecting or resonating with a certain message, that is more than fine. It could possibly be another person um, in your life that you weren't really thinking about at the time. Or it could just be, you know, just wasn't maybe your first choice or your first intuition or it could, it could be anything really. Um, and you're more than welcome to choose another group or another deck to watch. But anyways, enough of me talking. Let's get into the readings. Yay! All right, group one, if you chose the blue calcite or group number one, and then this messages, these messages are for you. Why was this person in your life? You know, when I first drew these cards, I was surprised. I was very surprised because it's very, I've never had this happen before. So you guys are, you're a very unique little group. So, for the first tarot card that we drew, we drew the Ace of Swords. The second tarot card that we drew was the Ace of Wands. And then the third tarot card that we drew was the Ace of Cups. See why I said it was interesting? You got all aces for your tarot cards. And then for your Daily Crystal card, we have the Garnet. Ignite your passion. And then for the Sarsi Oracle, we have Star Family. You are part of a team of souls called in support. And surrender to the sweetness, Venus energy, pleasure, joy, make love to life. So, again, I was very, I've never had three aces pop up before like I did with you guys. And I, I I know it's a new deck, but I swear I shuffled it. Um, if you watch the other readings, you'll see I shuffled it. But this one, I'm just like, okay. Well, this group definitely has a lot of newness going on. So let's start off with the Ace of Swords. So generally I'm getting, there's a, a lot of newness going on. I, I literally just said that a couple seconds ago. Anyways, <laughs> so the Ace of Swords. So this stone is actually pink tourmaloin. And tourmaloin is actually this long bar right here, this long crystal bar. Um, but this one is pink on the card. Um, anyways, so this card represents um, seeing things like in a new way, maybe being inspired by new ideas. Um, being able to cut through some illusions um, and also to be able to face the truth and be honest with yourself so I feel like um, so far whoever this person was in your life they kind of helped you to face your demons a little bit and see things in a different light um, and they kind of inspired you too because there's definitely just a lot of inspiration, a lot of newness. Like this person ignited something. <laughs> they ignited your passion. They definitely did ignite your passion um, with all these cards that are popping up. And then with the Ace of Wands, this is the Adventure Team. And I love the Adventure Team because it makes me think of like, you know, well, <laughs> the Ace, new beginnings, new just new and going on adventures and stuff and experiencing new life um and this card represents you know possibly them bringing up these new ideas to you or new opportunities to you um so i'm telling you to be open to them um and definitely with these flames i'm feeling like express your love and energy and all that you do whatever this new thing is um whoever this person is i i don't feel like it's a any particular person for any particular group of people right now like i don't feel like it's somebody that's passed away or if it's um, an ex-lover or anything i just feel like this is somebody who's really inspired you um and it could be you know if it's an ex, it could be that they inspired you to better yourself in your life. Or if it's, you know, just 
a new friend that's totally inspired you to make something more of your life. You know, I just feel like there's just this newness and freshness. This person, I feel like they're in your life because they're here to inspire you to blossom and to grow. And then last but not least, with the Ace of Cups, um, it has the abalone shell. Um, and this is just showing that there's great good things to come. The cup is overflowing. Um, there's overflowing emotions. There's just so much positive energy and I'm just like, ooh, I'm excited for you guys because there is just so much fire and inspiration and like, ah, <laughs> you know what I mean? And then we have the garnet, ignite your passion. So, is this telling me they are definitely in your your life to ignite this fire that may have been um stagnant or something like maybe you're you're just we're kind of in a rut and not sure what to do with your life and they're here to help inspire you and then we have star family you're a part of a team of souls call and support so this is telling me that they are definitely they're that supportive sim uh, system to you or maybe they led you to a support group or to or they're leading you to or opening you up to people who would be there to support you in whatever path or whatever journey you're going to go down because again I'm just seeing just this newness this freshness they were in your life to inspire you and I only see positive vibes from this like, even if it was a terrible breakup or something, I only see positive coming from this, you know? And I, I, I'm really loving that for you guys. And then we have Surrender to the Sweetness. We use energy, pleasure, joy, make love to life. So it's telling me, enjoy the newness and freshness that you have in your life right now. Embrace those new things. Um, if you... I mean, if, if you, well, I hate to say this during, if you're watching this during uh, when I post this currently, mostly everything in the world is shut down. But you know, let's say this two years from now and everything's not shut down. Uh, if you feel, if, you, if your friends, you're like, hey, come with us to the beach and you're just planning to be a couch potato all day go to the beach, you know, go have fun with them, enjoy life, enjoy the pleasures of it, um, just live it, and do things that you enjoy, because I feel like there's just so much love and support, and this person was in your life, or they're still in your life, just here, they're here to inspire you, to show you love and support, I, I just feel so much positive energy for you guys and I'm really I'm it's very unique that we got three aces because aces you know they're usually the beginning of each um, oh my gosh I'm, I'm blanking on the word of each you know there's swords wands cups and pinnacles so the, the beginning of each of those categories each of those groups of cards so it's you know just the new beginnings there's new freshness um but i really strongly encourage you to really take these chances take these opportunities be careful though um you know, because we do have the Ace of Swords coming through any illusions. Um, so kind of use your discernment to decide, you know, what is good and what is not good for you. Um, but at the same time, there's just a lot of freshness and newness. And you do need to be very honest with yourself. This is a very new time for you. So be honest with yourself. Be raw. But be open to new things. You know, maybe you always go a certain way home. Maybe try going a different way home. Yeah. 
anyways, I really, really hope this is really resonated with at least one of you, if not all of you. And I hope that you guys have a beautiful, wonderful morning, night, day, whenever it is. And we will see you all in the next reading. Okay, love y'all so much. Bye! Alright, group two. If you chose the Kambaba stone, the Crocodile stone, this message is for you. Why were they in your life? Let's check it out. Alright, so, first of all, we have the five of swords we have the page of wands and we have the six of wands and then for your daily crystal inspiration we have the agate get back into balance and then for your starcy oracle we have <sighs> here at the well, that we're, we're just gonna say that and um, this is longing for home, homesick for the stars. And then we have, you're not alone, isolation, physical connection, community. All right, so let's get into these cards. First of all, we have the Five of Swords. And this has the uh, hematite in the card which helps express um, thoughts and energies and whatnot. So, with the Five of Swords, um, this is telling me that it is time to really get your thoughts together. Like, for some reason when I see like this equal like kind of pyramid, I'm thinking of like getting your thoughts to one point, to get them all together to one point. Um, and I'm really feeling not to let um, scattered energy really get to you. Um, during this time kind of fight off that energy um, but I really find it interesting how these are just like pyramided around or yeah, they're, they're around the heart and center of the hematite which is expressing um, your thoughts um, but yeah so that's what we're gaining for that one so far and then we have the Page of Wands, and this one has the. Oh, I'm gonna butcher this name, Cryosphere, which helps you see through confusion. So again, we have these expressing thoughts, kind of protecting your thoughts, and then we have this one, helping you see through confusion. Um, and this, this is telling me that it is a time for following your dreams. Um, The time is very near for following your dreams, I feel. Because I feel like this guy, he's looking off into the distance of things to come. Like, he's he's ready for this new journey. Um, and this also could be possibly, like, new inspiration, ins inspira information that's coming to you. Um, some sort of gift to help you, I feel. And then we have the Six of Wands, and this is the barrel right down here, barrel stone, uh, which is about moving forward, um, usually with the barrel stone, that's what it represents. Um, and this is, you know, Six of Wands usually represents, um, after much hard work, things will move forward um, and taking charge of your life again. So we see all this fire energy and just taking charge and exploding. Um, so why was this person in your life just based off of your tarot cards? I feel like I feel like this person there may have been some some issues with them where they kind of I don't want to say like distracted you, but I feel like they, they kind of took you away from who you really were and um, oh my gosh, yeah, <laughs> this agate getting back into balance, um, they kind of took you off balance, and, um, this is really telling me that you need, you, you really need to protect yourself, because why, this person, I'm, 
I mean, unlike the last group, I felt a lot of positive energy, but this group, I'm feeling like some un uneasy energy. Um, I feel like you really do need to protect yourself from who this person was or is. Um, and because they kind of distracted you from your life's journey, your life's path. Um, as for why they were in your life, let's let's keep going to your other two oracle cards, and we'll we'll so we'll delve into that a little more as to why they were in your life. So we have the Hirieth, uh longing for home, homesick for the stars. So. I'm feeling like, possibly for some of you, this may have been the person who maybe you met briefly, um, and they weren't exactly the best person, um, or the friendship wasn't exactly the best one, or the relationship wasn't exactly the best one, um, but you kind of, you were just, I don't want to say feeling like lonely but you were feeling kind of lonely and kind of um longing for just somebody to feel like home you know um I just feel this longing there is this longing and that's the reason why they entered your life is because you they fulfilled some sort of need that you needed at the time um, and then we have, you're not alone. Isolation, physical connection, and community. Sorry, <laughs> holding it up here. Um, so this is telling me that you may have felt alone, or you may feel alone without them in your life, but this is telling me that you're not alone. Um, also maybe explore different communities. Um, but really do do take some time to isolate yourself um, from this person. I, I, I really, I feel like for some of you, this may have been some sort of a, an abusive relationship or friendship. And I feel like you really should try to reach out to some people. Um, whether it be a, you know, a support community or a friend or somebody. Um, cause I feel like for a very long time, this person may have filled this void and in filling this void, they also took from you too. They took some, some energy from you. And we have all these cards about protecting your energy and the good thing is, you know, once you, you've protects your energy and you're looking forward to the goodness, the good new things, we have this wildfire with a six of wands, um, and you're just ex <laughs> spreading, I don't know to say exploding, but like you're spreading your, I want to say your truth and you're able to just move on and be happier. I, I feel like this person was in your life for a lesson yeah because I feel like this person they definitely there's there's some sort of lesson to learn from whatever happened in this situation whether it's love romance friendship love romance friendship <laughs> or even hookup um or even just you know a former co-worker um there is something very powerful to learn from this friendship and I really strongly encourage you to do some deeper thinking about this um but I don't want to say don't let them back into your life but I strongly do advise keeping some distance from this person because they kind of do they kind of they they got you off balance um and we with the five of swords i see this as like protecting your heart you, you kind of got to protect yourself because they kind of 
they got a hold of you for a bit. And you really need to just reconnect with yourself and don't be afraid to talk to other people about what you went through either. Because you have this, this, I, this, you're not alone card. Because you're not, you're definitely not alone in whatever it is that you went through with this friend, with this ex lover, whoever it may be. Ooh, I just got chills. Ooh, <laughs> for somebody that, that just hit home. So, yeah. Anyways, I really, really hope that this reading resonated with at least one of you, not all of you. Um, and I strongly do um, recommend really protecting yourself. Um, but do keep moving forward. But really, with, with the swords, cut through those confusions. See through the BS that they might be shooting at you. Really come to the heart and center of yourself and not who you were when you were with them or when they were in your life because I feel like they did alter you in some way. Anyways, I hope you guys have a beautiful, wonderful morning, night, day, whenever it is, and we will see you all in the next reading. Okay, I love y'all so much. Bye! Alright, group three, if you chose the hematite, these messages are for you. Why were they in your life? Let's take a look. So, first tarot card we have is Judgment. Second tarot card we have is The World. And the third tarot card we have is The Queen of Wands. And then, for the Daily Crystal Oracle, we have the Cairo Face. Allow yourself to receive. And then we have for the Starseed Oracle, water your garden. Nourishment, body care, tenderness, rest. <sighs> okay. So why was this person in your life? Let's start off with the judgment card and take a look, closer look at this. So the judgment card, this one has the fire oval crystal in it. Um, and this card is usually about, you know, making decisions, um, final judgments, and could be, um, you, you needing to refocus your energy, um, looking into yourself, and really making calls, making decisions for yourself, um, because you do decide your destiny, um, but I do feel like there's some newfound liberation, newfound freedom um, within this for some of you. And then we have the world. So the world, uh, the crystal is clear quartz. Um, and then the world is more about like um, a completion, the end of a cycle. Um, this is telling you you need to look forward to your next journey wherever it may be. Um, but it's just, you know, there's success with whatever um, this may be. Let's keep looking into the cards. <laughs> kind of getting pieces of messages. The deeper we go, the more we get. Um, and then we have the Queen of Wands, and this one has the pearls. Um, and this one is, again, it's like a new start, following your int intuition, um, but it's also telling me that whatever new proje projects or, or things or new relationships or something, they're in the beginning, like they're, they're in a new stage. Um, or they're, they're on fertile, fertile ground, that's what I'm trying to say. Um, so they'll grow, they'll really grow, but you do need to really tend for them as well. Be careful. So for me, tarot cards, just for me, tarot cards, what I'm seeing so far, um, the reason why this person may have been in your life, 
we see like a lot of a new cycle on new beginnings and it, it's all stemming off of you and deciding and they could possibly be inspiring you to make these changes to end an old relationship or end an old friendship or get a new job um but you also need to be very careful with whatever you know whatever this new thing is that you're trying to do because it is in the new fresh beginning stages so really follow your intuition on it and then we have um the Cairo face allow yourself to receive and I kind of find it funny with the judgment card um because I feel like some of you you might be a little hard-headed um and you might be like oh I don't need help I don't need you know well don't need anybody tell me what to do or how to do it um but this is telling me you need to kind of let your guard down just a little bit and allow yourself to um receive some input especially when you're in the new beginning phases of something um because if you're just starting a new relationship you don't always know everything about the person or if you're starting a new career you don't know everything um, about that career, about the job that you're just starting. You're still in these very beginning stages, so humble yourself a little bit um, with whatever this is. And then we have water your garden. Nourishment, body care, tenderness, and rest. So it's telling me that you may be kind of restless a little bit. you kind of just been neglecting your body. Um, and, you know, I feel like, you know, because this is so why were they in your life um, video, I feel like they're in your life to kind of help you reevaluate yourself and to help you to receive and grow. Because I feel like um, whoever you are, I feel like you may... <laughs> You might be a little bit of a stubborn person, um, you may be kind of unsure of yourself, or you may be beginning like this brand new job, this new cycle, this new relationship, and I just feel like they're, they're in your life not to really take anything away from you, but to give and to help you recenter yourself and maybe just be even a simple reminder of you need to really rest really take care of yourself eat healthier live a healthier life because this judgment courage i just i'm seeing you know a very very hard-headed very stubborn person that's you know it, you gotta really refocus your energy uh, because you have this new cycle coming in with the world um, or you already have this new cycle that you're going through and the Queen of Wands is over here sitting on it looks like fertile ground right here you know very soft mushy kind of ground um, but there's a lot of growth that's waiting to become from this new relationship new situation whatever it may be so why were they in your life or why are they in your life I feel like they're in your life just as like a simple reminder to humble yourself. I know people don't like to hear that, you know, about to humble your, yourself and people, that's not anything people like to hear. Um, but it's, it's more like a humble yourself and don't be so hard on yourself. Be more accepting, be more open to these new situations, these new things in your life allowing yourself to receive be open to new things because I feel like you're very closed off and I don't see a particular like if it's new romance new lover new um a new job or 
or a new coworker, or, or anybody like a passed on loved one. I don't see any, any particular person because I feel like there's a lot of different messages within this reading, um, just this reading alone. Because this could literally go 50 different ways. So, you know, it is a general reading. And I feel like there are going to be some messages that some of you can relate to and some of you might not relate to. But as long as you get the messages within your heart that you understand and you know it's true, that's what truly matters. Anyways, I hope that this reading made sense to at least one of you, if not all of you. And I hope you guys have a beautiful, wonderful morning, night, day, whenever. And I love you so much. And we will see you all in the next reading. Okay, love you all so much. Bye!